Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Key to Disney and Fragrance. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. If you're in my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. We do mainly Bath and Body Works content with a sprinkle of Disney. But in today's video, it is Candle Day. It is Candle Day 2023, and I'm so excited. It is 5.03 in the morning, and my store opens at 6, and it's about 30 minutes away. I'm currently waiting for my mom and dad to come pick me up because it's supposed to snow, and I don't like driving, and I don't like driving in the snow especially. So my parents have offered to take me to candle day i think we're only going to one store today i have a couple 10 off 40s shout out to michaela and cassie for sending me some coupons the price is nine dollars and 95 cents and i know they're putting out collections later in the weekend so i think i might go tomorrow as well but i will see you at the store or possibly in the car let me in Hello, my Uber. Uber for Cammy. Okay, we made it to the first store. We got out of the car at like 5.59 a.m. I just took some quick pictures and clips um, in the store. So yeah, there were no glass lid candles or the fleece Navidad, which is fine. Not the end of the world, but here are some clips. I'm not gonna talk through the whole clips, I don't think, my store didn't put out any of the candles that were supposed to be out later in the weekend, which is fine by me, but I did end up going to a second store because I was like, maybe they would have the um, glass lid candles, but they didn't. I wasn't super impressed with the new collections, to be honest, like that winter, spring, autumn, summer collection. Did not get any of those candles, but I tried to go slow in the store. I'm sorry. There were a lot of people in there, actually. Um, and I didn't want to be in people's way. And this store is pretty small. I'm sorry. Miss Dolly is taking up all of my attention. And she wants my attention because she's barking at me. I did smell that cinnamon sugared pecans. Wasn't really my vibe. It smelled good. But I did not want to grab that. Okay, so we went to the first store. I'm really disappointed. They didn't have like any of the candles that I was looking for. I literally only got four. Um, we're gonna try to go to a white barn location. They had no glass lid candles, no fancy lid candles, and I just wasn't like wowed by any of the scents, but I did get four of them. I did smell like that, the, what was it, like the top shelf elf, that collection in the Cosmopolitan. I did smell those and I got one from that, but now we are on our way to the second store and hopefully it's a little better. The first store didn't have these two candles, so that was pretty cool to see. And the store still has the little three-wick candle ornaments, which was cool. But that's it for my clips. Into the haul now. Okay, so we are back home. Candle Day 2023 was a success. I'm sorry if you hear my puppy barking. She is deciding to be a barking girl today. And I need to film this video. And yes, yeah, so sorry if you hear her barking. I hope it's not too loud since our house is still pretty empty. It echoes really, really bad. But Candle Day 2023 was an excess, success, a little bit of a success for the most part. I didn't get any fancy lid candles, no Felice Navidad, no glass candles, unfortunately, which makes me a little bit sad, but that's okay. I still got some goodies. Shout out to Michaela and Cassie for sending coupons my way to make this haul possible. I just got eight candles. I heard that they're putting out more candles tomorrow and Sunday. I have one more 10 off of 40 that I might use on Sunday, but not so sure about that. We will see. But for now, this is my candle day 2023 haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog portion. Um, I call it a vlog loosely because I didn't really film very much. My first store that I went to was not busy, was not busy at all. We all got out of our cars at like 5.59. Maybe there were three people. And then I shopped for about 20 minutes, just looking around, taking some pictures, some videos. And then um, by the time I left, it was a little more crowded. Uh, the only thing I was disappointed that they didn't have was just like the glass lid candles, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. So I did go to two locations just to see, because my second location was a white bar. And so I was like, maybe they'll have some different candles. And they kind of did, but not really. Um, so let's go over the four candles I got from the first store. If you guys want to see the candle day bag, is super cute. I love that they put the name or the date on it. And it says 
annual candle day with the cute little candle at the bottom. Super cute. And these can hold 12 candles, like a double crate. So I did get some e-gift cards because Sam's Club had a $50 e-gift card for $39. So I got two of those. So that gives you some extra savings. But this was the first store at 6.13 a.m. My total was $34.21. And I did use my gift card, which was awesome. So I got four candles. And then I also grabbed a pocket pack because I didn't want to get 10 candles. I just only wanted to get eight. So I just grabbed a pocket pack just to get over that um, $40 threshold for the 10 off of 40. Um, all the candles I got were either $26.95 or $24.95. Um, none of those high price candles, but that is okay. I'll do the first thing, which is boring, but I picked out this for my mom. This is the Twisted Peppermint um, pocket pack. So we just grabbed one to get um, over the edge and that ended up being $1.48 with the coupon, which is fine. Um, so shout out to my parents for taking me also. You guys are awesome. Okay, let's go over the four candles I got from the first store. So the first candle I grabbed was the Lavender Marshmallow. Look at the packaging. So pretty, super, super pretty. This one is sitting out with a fluffy marshmallow, touch of lavender and fresh vanilla bean. This one is so good. This is so good. I kind of wish I got a couple of them, but I only grabbed one. It smells exactly how you think it would. Just like a really sweet, sweet lavender. This is so yummy. I'm so glad I grabbed this one. So we have lavender marshmallow and it is a beautiful um, lilac -y colored wax. There is a, oh my goodness. There is like a really pretty lilac um, colored wax. And then here is the lid. It's got some like little bakery treats on there. Super cute. I love when they do the fun lids. The next candle I got was Butterfly. I was gonna get Dahlia. It was super, super light, like super, super light. So I passed on that one, but I did get Butterfly because of the perfect like wraparound packaging. And I don't think I have this one. And if I do, that's okay. But here is Butterfly. I usually don't end up buying any of these core candles unless it's candle day or at 75% off on some annual sale. But this is Raspberry Nectar, Iris Petals, and Airy Vanilla. It's good. It's really good. It's actually really, really good. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like a really, really pretty raspberry floral. I'm in love. It smells super, super yummy. So here is Butterfly. The next one I got, which was a recommendation from my friend Chris from This Guy Shops. This is the Crunchy English Toffee. Um, just a normal lid. I really wanted that Felice Navidad candle because Chris hyped it up so much, but they didn't have it, but that's okay. But this is the Crunchy English Toffee, and I, I had to at least get one candle from this collection because the label is so pretty. But this is Sweet Brown Sugar Crunchy Toffee and a Dash of Vanilla Extract. It's so good. It smells just like toffee and I love toffee. Heath bars are my favorite candy. So yummy. It's delicious. It's caramely. It's nutty. Super, super good. I'm really impressed with this one. I'm cold. So there's that. And I'm a person that I, I've had enough of winter candy apple. I've had enough of vanilla, vanilla bean noel. I've had enough of tis the season and winter and all those like returning scents. I didn't buy any of those. I tried to get scents that are either new this year or new to me like butterfly. I know it's not new this year, but it was new to me. And then lavender marshmallow. I also know that's not new this year, but it's new to me. And it was like a returning favorite. Okay. This next one is from this collection like the drinks collection. I don't know. There was like the candy cane colada. I did not like that one. I thought that one was really strange. There was also the cosmopolitan and I think top shelf elf or something. And this is the Co cosmopolitan. I have no idea what this one's supposed to be. It says up on the rooftop bar, Santa's taking a little detour to meet Mrs. Claus for drinks. That are, that is the fragrance notes. <laughs> So I have no idea what it's supposed to smell like. I think this is a repackage though, if I remember correctly, but it smells so good. It's like sweet, it's fruity, it's tart. Is this like the black, black, not black cherry Merlot, but like some like black raspberry something. I don't know, it smells good. I th Even though this is a packaging, a uh, repackage, it does smell good. I just wanted to get at least one from this collection because I think the packaging is really cute. 
And look at the lid. So fun. And I didn't really like that candy cane one. But if I didn't say it already, with my 10 off 40, the candles came out to $7.57 a piece, which was really great. But that was at the first store. So again, I only got four candles at each store. I'm not trying to go like super over the top this year because if you guys saw my Instagram, I have a ton of candles I need to get burning up. So the second location, we got there by 636. And I did get four candles as well as a pocket back. My total was $34.29. Again, the candles were $7.57. And I got a pocket back for $1.48. So we'll start with the pocket back. I got iced blue lavender because I thought this was a new one. And it's pretty. And it smells good. I'm going to use it. Ooh, that smells really good. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. So that smells good. Moving on to the four candles I grabbed. Um, my first store I went to, they didn't have any of these, um, this packaging. I think besides Fireside. So they were low on stock of this one. My second store also had some fall candles. I didn't really take too many videos in the second store um, because I don't, I don't know why I didn't actually. There was like nobody in this store when I went. But I was excited to get this one. I don't know if this was on my wish list, but I did smell all the candles on my wish list and I wasn't a fan of half of them. So if these aren't candles that were on my wish list, that is why. Um, but here is Iced Winter Balsam with this gorgeous green wraparound packaging. Super pretty. This one has some notes of frozen eucalyptus, sugared pine, and fresh balsam. It smells just like you'd expect it to smell like a Christmas tree, and I love it. It just got a plain white wax. I've never tried this one before, so I'm excited to give that one a go. The next one I grabbed is also a new scent. This is Winter Pear Forest. I did grab this in a wallflower, I think. This packaging is super, super pretty. I love it. And the set notes are wintergreen leaves, snowy pears, and a hint of cypress. So this is like a woodsy, like a woodsy pear. I think it's really good, actually. I really like it, like a foresty pear. I'm pretty, um, I was pretty impressed with this one, actually. So I was glad I remembered to grab it. And it's got a pretty green wax. Just two more candles. I did grab Goldenberry Mistletoe. I didn't, I don't know if I was gonna get this one, but I was like, you know what, might as well. And now I'm realizing I forgot to get Luminous. Why do I always do that? I forget. I need to write down my list because I verbally say it, but then I forget, but whatever. This is Sparkling Berries, Sugared Spruce, and Frosted Air. I just thought this was a cool packaging and you can definitely smell a lot more of the spruce in candle form versus the body care which it smells good. It's like a berry, it's like a berry sprucey, like berry woodsy scent. I'm not mad at this one at all. So I'm so glad I grabbed this one. I'm kind of sad I forgot, forgot to grab Luminous. I get so overwhelmed in the store, but I do still have a 10 off 40, so I can always go back if I want to. And then last but not least, I did end up getting Candy Emporium. Again, that really pretty lid. It's like um, a pink and like mint green kind of packaging. Blue, green. I like it actually. I actually kind of like it. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I kind of like it. This is fruity candy, sweet confections, and pillowy mints. So it's like a fruity minty scent. I'm really intrigued by it. I think it smells good on cold, but I'm intrigued to see what it smells like when burning. But based off of first impressions, I'm not mad at it. And I was happy to get it. So that was my candle day 2023 haul. I think last year I got maybe 12 candles. And this year I only got eight. But I might get another four candles um, later in the weekend. Because my store didn't have any of the fun collections out. Or like the collections that were supposed to go out later in the weekend. I thought maybe they would have. But they didn't. But that is a wrap for Candle Day 2023. Let me know how your shopping experience was and let me know what candles you guys got for Candle Day 2023. It is still Friday, the day of Candle Day. So I hope you guys have a great weekend shopping Candle Day. Let me know in the comments down below what you are getting for Candle Day. And if you like seeing my face, Disney or Beth Mario Works content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you. It helps me out so, so much. And you guys can tune in later. Thanks again, guys, for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.